What's up guys, Sinistalker here for another video. This video right up here, I'm gonna be checking out the 99 cent only store because I found out uh, last night on Thursday, today, so recording this today is Friday, April 5th. Um, last night on the 4th, I saw a thing on my Facebook uh, that, that all, the, all the 99 cent only stores are closing up starting today, a liquidation still starting today on the 5th which is nuts, like all the stores, I think it's just like a West Coast thing, but it's all the, all the stores in like California, Nevada, Texas, and Arizona. I believe that's all, the, I think that's all where they are. So all these stores, over 300 stores, almost 400 I believe, I saw something on them and I read it up, are just closing up, which is a shame, because it was always kind of cool to go there, you know, get some pretty good deals on some food things, like salads and stuff like that, snacks. It was always great going there during like Halloween and Christmas time for like really good deals on some decor, really cool stuff. It's kind of always kind of fun checking that stuff out, things like that, getting soaps for the for the path, the house, you know, a little, little cleaning thing, stuff like that. It was always kind of cool going there for like some deals, you know. All the prices started going up a little bit more during the last handful of years because uh, like with an inflation stuff, things like that stuff part kind of sucked. Before that, way back when, it was you know, the other thing was like a dollar pretty much like years ago. But still, so it's still, still, still the pretty decent deals, the pretty good deals they had going on still for like stuff like that, for like you know stuff I just mentioned. So it's a shame all that stuff gone now. So yeah, I, I don't you know, so it's just it's a shame. So I figured uh, might as well go there, uh, check it out, record it. Maybe maybe I'll hit up a couple of those stores. I'm not really sure if I will or not, but at least I'll go to one of them, one nearby me, and maybe another one that's uh, not too far from here. It's a really big one. I might check that one out too, but uh, there's all pretty big stores, almost like a grocery store. They kind of work the size of them, but for like a, you know, uh, like like a 99 cent dollar uh, item type place, you know. So let's go there now, check it out. I said they had a, like they had a, like a liquidation sales going on starting today, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be totally like uh, like busy there or whatnot. But go check it out, see what they get going on. Probably get some things since I'm there. Let's go see. All right, here we go at the uh, 99 cent only store right by me. It's kind of a cold, uh, not like rainy, but a little bit. So definitely kind of misty. I would have be kind of a coolish day. But it's not, it's not super busy here. It's almost like some cars up here. Crazy, crazy. Let's go in here and uh, we'll check it out and see what we got going on. All right, as we go first inside here, I see some of the Easter stuff on discount. And there's a candy aisle. Not that busy, though, as you can see. Pretty much, I'm the only one in this aisle right now. It's just like regular right now. It was always kind of good to go into a nine cent only store because like deals like, you know, get the yeah, like name brand kind of stuff. Maybe some like a little different like offshoot like, like flavors of things, you know, in, in a sense. But they usually had like pretty good selection of name brand stuff. I don't know, like if you go like the, the others, like, like the Dollar Tree or something like that. They usually had like more knockoff kind of stuff. That kind of deal, uh, which was like kind of like, so I wanted to make a video doing like only, only like 99 cent only store foods, but it was kind of hard because it was mostly like name brand stuff, like you no know, craft or you know, cup of noodles, or like I saw over there, like uh, Nature Valley or Kellogg's, like Frosted Flakes, stuff like this, mostly name brand stuff. So it was kind of hard to do one. It was only this kind of stuff, just like regular type name brands. But the other place had more like offshoot brands, this one had more like name brands. But pretty good deals of stuff you get for like, you know, two, for the most part of, of things, like you know, a dollar for like. Honey O's, remember these are back, back in the day, kind of good. These, these I remember, kind of were hard though, but kind of were pretty good though. But, uh, but yeah, kind of just showing this. I'm not sure what the deal's going on here for. I'm not sure like what the uh, prices are on the things. I just see like signage that these are like, gonna be like for like this amount off or whatever. I always remember like going here most of the time to get like the vegetable stuff. You should get pretty good deals on vegetables. And that kind of thing, I get these like, these little Thai coconuts up here. They've got the coconut milk. They're like, what, like 250 or something like that or whatever they are. So not bad, like you know, celery or carrots or the salads over there. You have pretty good deals on that stuff. And they get it for like almost like half off. They would normally would get at a uh, grocery store. Normally that grocery store would be like maybe four or five bucks. So like maybe like three to five bucks per package of uh, salads. And over here for the most part, you get it for like two fifty. It used to be cheap, like a dollar actually back when, but like two fifty to friggin' like like two bucks or whatever per salad or something like that. So to make sure you have to check, make sure it's not like all wilted. Make sure it's still like a good uh, expiration date on it still. But you get some pretty good deals on some stuff like this, some little you know, seasoning things. I bought some of this stuff before for like Thanksgiving, you know, that kind of thing. Some some broccoli florets. These are you know, good deal on these, like, like two bucks. They're not, not a bad deal for these right up here. Cauliflower, broccoli, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, uh, all this kind of stuff. So Brussels sprouts, whatever. So I get some pretty good deals on vegetable stuff here, which I'm gonna miss when they're gone because you get pretty good deals compared to like a grocery store. And even on the on the dressings, like, you know, Kraft. I'm not gonna get this one, but you know, $1.49, 
buck forty nine for like a little, little small one like that. You can't go wrong with that or a dollar, you know. So not bad. And then like the hot sauce is always usually a pretty good deal on like ketchups, mustards, hot sauce, and the Valentina. This is always a good one up here for making some like toasty locos. Valentina's always good. They always have like unusual kind of things like this, like name brand stuff, but kind of unusual ones. Like this, I've never seen this before. To Tostitos toppers, avocado lawn. Looks pretty good for like tacos or whatever. I've not seen that one before. And this one too, red chili pepper. Maybe I'll get some of those for like my uh, tacos or just to have like, you know, toppings for like nachos or something like that. Maybe you have pretty good deals on stuff like that. So I missed that part going here and getting like canned goods, name brand kind of stuff for a good deal. So that is going to suck compared to the other Dollar Tree place, which had like some of this stuff. Usually it was kind of just like not the good off brand stuff, stuff you wouldn't normally, normally get because it's not that good. You can have some good old sriracha sauce where this stuff was kind of hard to find. The uh, sriracha, you know, good old sriracha. But this, this other one, you get this uh, imitation one called Ch chili sauce with garlic sriracha. It's like an imitation one, but it came with some good old classic sriracha sauce. You know, the small little bottles too uh, back here. Remember, this stuff was like hard to find for a while, but uh, you know, it's like it's back now. This stuff's really hot and some oyster sauce is always good, stuff like that. So this is gonna suck not having that here uh, for a cheap price. Here you go by the frozen uh, food area aisle, whatever that's like the milk's at, other kinds of items that are re re being refrigerated. Juices, sometimes you get some pretty good deals on juices. Sometimes also like, I remember coming here like, like, like years back, you find them for like a dollar sometimes, but not, not much anymore, but I would find some deals back when like that for some pretty good juices and things of that nature. Get some puddings, little yogurts in there. Some cheeses, which are kind of like hit and miss, you know, that kind of thing. Bologna, the, the, it's a small thin slice Budig brand or the Budig Bar S, which ain't the greatest, but it, it's okay for what it is. You get some Earl Campbell Hot Links. Never try those. Those are might be interesting. And then you get some other kinds of lots and ends. Here you get the cool Mexican style chips up here. Rancheritos, those are great. And you get the Tostitos for making some Tosi Locos. Always good to get those stuff and those all the ingredients here. Then up here, all the snacky type things and food items is always kind of good for getting like deals like on Cheez Its and things like that. And look at these up here. I remember seeing these at another store, the IHOP. Uh, was this like is this coffee? I don't know if I, I, don't, I don't think I want to get some buttery syrup coffee. It's the most interesting offshoots you might get, but chocolate chip, these are all coffees. Chocolate chip for coffee, that might be okay. And you get the, of course, IHOP, you know, was this, I thought, I thought that was like pancake mix. But it's not, I thought it was like, swear I thought it was pancake mix, but it's not. And then you get the uh, iced latte pumpkin spice. That might be kind of good, actually. I don't know. But it might be, that might be kind of good. Over this time of year coming up at springtime, but it might be pretty good, though. But it was kind of cool getting like, little snacky things here. Good deals on coffee. You get some uh, coconut oil, things of that nature. And the cool, like, Mexican uh, snacks up here, like the cool, like, Mexican style pastries, like from Bimbo, Marinella brand, like the uh, Gancito are always good. These are like classic, almost like, like kind of like, kind of like, Hostess cupcakes, but the but the Mexican style version actually really good. Like these are freaking bomb right there. Super super good classic. And here's some seasonal decor for springtime into summer, which is always kind of cool going to these stores, like the store for like Halloween time and Christmas. We always had a pretty decent selection and cheap prices on uh, specialty decor, seasonal decor. So it was kind of fun checking that stuff. I like here you got some cool like summery springtime stuff to put up and things like that. So pretty neat. I left the other 99 cent only store. I'm at that one over here. I went to the one actually that I stand in Cedar, probably the most southwesterly 99 cent only store there is in the country. So I'm like right, right over here. Uh, actually, not, not too far away is the Tijuana, probably like a few blocks away. So we're just got this location before it all uh, gets you know uh, ransacked in the way. And I found out too when I was at the other store, there's no discounts today. I thought there was some discounts, things like that online, like like uh, liquidation things going on starting today. So maybe maybe some of the discounts be like. 25% off or whatever, but none of that going on. So no, no need to rush out there today. Probably, I think the guys, the workers said maybe next week, next couple weeks starting to come, there'll be some uh, discounts. But almost a way to like lure you in there because the sign is 99 cent only store. Mostly everything in there is 99 cents. It's usually like a 125 and up, which I get, but it's one way to kind of lure you in there. Uh, one last time, thinking of some discounts, really crazy deals going on, but there's not right now. So no need to rush in there. At least at the store I was at, maybe it's different over here, but I think it's the same. So go there right now, check it out, and uh, kind of you know document it. Uh, probably for the last time, I'll, I'm sure I'll go in here a couple more times uh, when, when I get the sales going on. It's gonna kind of get some stuff, but uh, let's go in there now, check it out before it gets all uh, mangled up and changed over.
things of that nature. So I'm in this parking lot over here, and that's the freeway. I think the 805 freeway to take you to the border. Um, the San Ysidro, which is over there in the mountains up there. That's, uh, well, part of that's like Mexico. But here's one of the, the most biggest uh, I said, the stores is this one. Real, real big one. Always uh, would pass it up. Never really came this one that much because kind of us never did. But I uh, always would see this on the freeway over there back home. Just never went over this one that much. It's not really in my area, but uh, let's go check this one. This is one of the biggest ones. And uh, yeah, we can maybe, maybe uh, grab a couple things. Grab me a basket. It's a classic 99 basket. The other store didn't have this. We just had the carts. And you can see inside here, it's a lot bigger than the aisle. It's almost like a normal size grocery store aisle. The way they are, the height of them and things like that. It's definitely a lot bigger store. As I said, very much a grocery store look inside here. Kind of just walking around, checking it out. So there's no deals going on right now, so it's not like crazy, crazy busy. But and more snackage type things, different chips over here, and then all the candies. But I say a lot more, uh, it's a little more selection here. Some old Shasta soda, and you get some Sunny D, baby. Some classic Sunny D. This one was a diff different flavor. Some orange mango, okay, and some classic Tampico. And before I head on out, look at these. You got the uh, imitation Keebler cookies, the fudge striped shortbreads, which are for a dollar, which these are actually pretty dang good for a buck. Not bad. I do recommend those. Some more cookies and things like that. And uh, yeah, a little pastry items and things of that nature. So, yeah, pretty good amount here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get anything or not, but I think I'm okay. Let's go down and look down this way. And I notice over here, here are some cookies. Are these Halloween cookies? They got Halloween cookies for $3.99. What are they thinking? Why are they $3.99? They should be like a quarter or free. Why are these, why are these uh, $3.49 or $3.99? That makes no sense to me. Okay, interesting. What the heck? Okay. All right, so I left the 99 cent store. I didn't get much in there. I just got like, what did I get? I got this. Some like paper towels and some toiletries. You know, just some little odds and ends and things like There's like a one line. I was like some other stuff in there, but I was like, yeah, I'm all, I'm all right right now. Dude. I went some shopping the other day, like grocery stuff. So I don't need much right now. So I was like, get some like snacky things. I'm like, yeah, I'm all, I'm all right. I hold off. I was really good to get. So those are like really cheap price. I would get them, but it was just like private price stuff. And the line was really big in this one. So I was like, yeah, I'm okay, just get, get nasty. Just want to go in there and check out nine cent only stores. I said, I heard it's going out of business. Like it, it is going out of business. Uh, I was sure if there's gonna be like any crazy prices going on today, like discounts, stuff like that. It was not right now. It's just like a normally, it's like a normal day over here. Uh, the prices are just regular, things like that. But uh, def definitely go there and check it out in case you want to get some stuff now before it gets all like, uh, not like, you know, kind of sort of way ransacked through. Once, like, once the discounts start, I'm sure everything will be picked over. So if you want to get anything in there, just like normally, uh, maybe go there now until next week. And also maybe wait, wait, wait till discounts, you might get some good good prices and stuff like that. But if you want to check it out, document it, things like that before they go completely under, because uh, it'd be definitely a good you know thing gone. It's been for like, I think 40 years I read up on, so it's a long time. It's around a nine and cent only stores. So def definitely a shame and sorry for the workers that won't all have any, any jobs there. So that's, that, is, that is a drag. And of course, they're buying some stuff for a good price. You got some good, good deals going on there. Uh, you know, buying some stuff, different foods, snacks like that for a good price. And it's a shame that it'll be uh, one less store uh, to get up on that and things like that. But anyway, if you guys like this video, and I hope you guys did, make sure to give a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Make sure to subscribe, of course. And I'll catch you guys later next one. I'll see you then. And bye.